Hello, welcome to Arvind Singh Academy. We are going to discuss today a very new topic, uh, not new for uh, your knowledge, but new for uh, in this session. Uh, that is in this class that uh, we are going to discuss today statistics. You must be aware about the statistics uh, since class uh, 7th and 8th. You uh, did it uh, in form of tabulations. You collected the data, classified them, tabulated them. And in class 10th as well, you have learned about uh, how to find the uh, central tendency of data and the measure of central tendency of data in form of mean, median, and mode. That will reveal about uh, the representation of all wholesome data uh, where the, what the data represents. So, mean, median and mode are the major of central tendency which you have studied, but uh, that is not enough uh, information uh, dealing with the, um, all data because uh, variations also very important that how the data is going to variate. So, nature of the data and variation is also very important. So, to measure the variation of data that is called dispersion or scattered, how the data are scattered. Um, that to measure it, uh, the measure of dispersion is to be studied. And in this class, basically, we will discuss the measure of dispersion. So, what we have learned and uh, how it will be useful uh, that we are going to discuss today. First, that uh, statistics is the science of average and estimation. So, average part you did it earlier, and to find that average, the measure of central tendency of data you have. Uh, learn and in that you will uh, be able to calculate mean, median and mode. These are the measure of central tendency which will give a data uh, or a number which will uh, represent the wholesome data. So, measure of central tendency of data, but uh, in this class, uh, we will learn about the dispersion of the data, that how the data is concentrated and why it is important. Uh, let me explain with some example. Uh, you are uh, watching cricket. You must be everybody, a youth of India, uh, is aware about the cricket and they love uh, watching cricket. So, most of you must be knowing about the Rahul Dravid and Virendra Sarwak. Uh, these are two great players of India. Uh, they were uh, um, played too many matches and uh, won matches for India. But uh, there are two uh, statements usually uh, said about these two great players that Virendra Sahwag, uh, when he was uh, batting, his test average is uh, nearly is slightly less than 50. And also, the Rahul Dravid has also approximately the same average. But uh, Rahul Dravid uh, is said as a consistent player, his consistency, Mr. Uh, Wall, uh, the favorite uh, designation given by the public that he is Mr. Wall. And while he was uh, played the cricket, uh, it is uh, almost uh, sure that he is not going to be out at zero at least. Uh, he will have at least 50, 60 runs, uh, 40 to 60 runs in each and every match. Uh, although he has um, made centuries, double centuries as well, but uh, usually uh, it is in most of the performance he uh, scored around 50. But uh, as far as concerned with the Virendra Sahag, it was just discussed um, that uh, when he will be at the crease, he may come out with the 0 and 5 or 10 or when he stayed there for uh, some time uh, with his four and six age, he can make double and triple century when he has made. So, average is not, but consistency is not. We, people don't believe usually on Virendra Sahak that he will stay for a longer time. And always people say, if he stay uh, on the crease and uh, then he will uh, made, uh, he will win the match for India. But if he stay, if he stay means consistency is doubtful, whereas uh, the consistency of Rahul Dravid was um, uh, people are reliable on him. 
So that is why here also you can understand with the two different examples that I am going to take here and these two great example, different examples will tell you that why mean is not enough or median is not enough to discuss the uh, about the data. Uh, some dispersion is also important, variation is also important to better description of the data. So just let us say. Uh, uh, consider one example in which Rahul Dravid, I am just writing here Rahul S course and Sehwag S score, Sehwag S score um, in some matches are like this. So I am going to write their scores that what they have scored here in some match. So runs score by in 10 matches, just I have taken the examples 10 matches by Rahul Dravid. In 10 matches by Rahul Dravid are this and run a score by Sehwag in 10 matches are this. Now let us find the mean of the data. So mean of Rahul Dravid, Rahul Dravid, mean of the scores by Rahul Dravid is 50 plus 45 plus 49 plus 50 plus 53 plus 53 plus 58 plus 60 plus 57 plus 55 whole divided by 10 that is what the mean you understood it divided by 10 so it is 530 divided by 10 that is 53 also uh, the score of the sahwag mean of sahwag age can be calculated mean of sahwag sahwag is uh, calculated as um, 31 plus 90 plus 0 plus 64 plus 42 plus 80 plus 31 plus 4 plus 116 plus 72 and whole divided by 10 that is also 530 divided by 10 which is 53. So mean of both the batsmen are same here but can you say both of them are scoring in the system pattern same pattern? No. Why not? Because here if you are looking for another, you may say that another uh, uh, method of measure of central tendency because variation of data is more. So you can use the measure of uh, central tendency like median. So if you want to find median, say median of Rahul, since total number of data, total number of data is 10, 10 here, that is even. So median, you know, if the data, total number of data is even, then median age, median age obtained as uh, n by 2th plus n by 2 plus 1th data, right now, divided by 2 is the median. So median can be obtained by this way. Median is the average of these two. And what is that? That is basically for uh, Rahul Dravid, median 10 by 2, that is fifth data, 10 by 2, that is fifth, plus sixth observation, observation, and divided by 2. So, here, uh, what will happen for Sahwag, median of Sahwag will be there, median of Rahul, median of Rahul is what? Median of Rahul is fifth plus sixth divided by 2. So that is fifth data is here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, fifth is 53, sixth is also 53. So 53 plus 53 divided by 2, 53 plus 53 divided by 2, which is 53. Median of Sahwag is there and that can be also calculated as median of Sahwag can be calculated as <coughs> fifth and sixth data that is here so median for sabag which 42 plus 82 uh, like uh, this two median of sabag is 42 plus 80 divided by 2 so that will be also 40 plus 82 divided by 2 which is uh, 122 divided by 2 that is 61 so these are also approximate but even then, can you say both of them are performing in the same way? Let us consider on the number line system. Uh, if we draw this, then what is the performance? How we can see this? 
if I draw their performance or in lumber line, say like this, from 0 to 100, a score is like this, 1 to 0 to 120. If I am taking this, this is 0 to 120 a score. And this is for Rahul, Rahul performance. And here is again, uh, I am pointing this from 0 to 120 of the Sawak performance. And what you find the difference, the scale I have taken here from 0 to 120 and representing them as uh, here 0 to 120. This is for Sahwag, Sahwag, right? So if I am going to represent them, their performance uh, run scored, what they have scored and what is uh, and the run they have made in uh, 10 successive uh, innings. Then you will find here that if I uh, mark here, these are the variation is more and they are distributed from 0 to 116. But here the distribution is too much concentration is there around 50. So consistency is more here variation is less and here variation is more. So variability is also very important to judge the character of the data and therefore measure of dispersion is taken to be considered measure of dispersion measure of dispersion dispersion so to measure a dispersion or dispersion or scattered is the same thing the measure of dispersion measure of dispersion of data depends on nature of the data depends on nature of the data and it reveals the variability. It represents variability, variation of data. It measures variation of data, isn't it? So it measures variation of data and it depends on the nature of the data. On the basis of nature of data, nature of nature of data we choose to the of method of central tendency choose the measure of central tendency of data central tendency of data of data so on the basis of and therefore on the basis of measure of central tendency, measure of central tendency, central tendency, on the basis of measure of central tendency of observation, observation, we can measure their dispersion their dispersion. So some method of dispersion, some method of finding measure of dispersion, measure of dispersion by using arrange first arrange second quartile division quartile division quartile deviation or quartile deviation or mean deviation and standard deviation mean deviation and standard deviation deviation and fourth one is a standard deviation. deviation. So we will discuss all of them. First of all, we are going to find out how the range dispersion and scattering can be measured by the help of range. So first range, range, using. A range, what is range? Let me explain the range. The range of data 
range of data is the difference of difference of maximum and minimum value and minimum value of observations observations that is data data all observations are a data so here uh, the range can be defined therefore a range for rahul age is maximum score was a range of rahul age what is the maximum score of rahul maximum score of rahul age 60 and minimum score age 45 isn't it so maximum score is 60 and minimum score is 55 maximum minus minimum maximum that is 60 minus minimum that is 45 so range is 50 so Rahul has scored in the range of 15 whereas the range of Rahul range of Rahul a range of for Sehwag Sehwag age maximum that is 116 minus minimum score that is 0 so it is 116 so range of uh, Rahul is less than therefore since range of Rahul is less than a range of Sehwag Sehwag and therefore variability in performance variability of in performance of Rahul in performance of Rahul is less than <coughs> Rahul is less than variability in performance of Sehwag in performance of Sehwag and since variability is less and therefore contrary to that we can say consistency 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 of Rahul Rahul is more than consistency of consistency of silver. <coughs> right? So you can say like this consistency of silver. So these are some concrete information which can be derived from the given data by using measure of central tendency. But it all not only this way but other method also is there in which you can calculate the consistency of the data and variability can be also measured this is the one method where range is being used and on the basis of range we can say about the variability of the data the next thing is using mean deviation so mean deviation about mean and mean deviation about median mean deviation mean deviation that is also in two ways one is mean deviation about mean mean deviation about mean about mean and the second one is mean deviation about median median right so these are the two things that can be also further classified for group data mean deviation for group data and for ungrouped data so let us discuss one by one first mean deviation about mean mean deviation about mean means deviation means difference how it is away from the central tendency of the data so mean deviation about mean 
first topic I am going to take here mean deviation about mean right now so mean deviation about mean in short we will say MD mean deviation MD so first is for ungrouped data for ungrouped data right how to deal if x1 x2 x3 up to xn are n observation are n observation then absolute deviation deviation from central data central data that is mean mean total data that is here mean mean x bar is given as x1 minus x bar mod x2 minus x bar mod and x3 minus x bar mod like that x minus x n yeah x n minus x bar right now so these are some absolute deviation right now etc so the average of this absolute deviation is called mean deviation the average of the average of average of these absolute deviation average of these absolute deviation these absolute deviation of observations from mean is called mean deviation mean deviation so therefore mean deviation age <coughs> mean deviation in that case will be x1 minus x bar mod plus x2 minus x bar mod plus x3 minus x bar mod plus xn minus x bar mod all divided by n that can be described as that can be described as sigma giving the notation x i minus x bar right now, and mod of this absolute sum of all mods absolute value divided by n where i is equal to 1 to n where i is equal to 1 to n you can write it right i is equal to 1 to n 1 to n full divided by n you can write this side also right now so this is the formula for mean deviation about mean for ungrouped data you should remember this formula and we will use it let us consider one example in which we can use this how mean deviation can be obtained from mean of the following data and on the basis of this we will calculate so same examples i should take here mean deviation for rahul now mean deviation we want to find out deviation for rahul for rahul rahul let us consider mean deviation for R. So here the mean was 53. We know mean was x bar was 53. We have calculated. Now mean deviation is equal to what is that? The data are given here like uh, data are 50, 45, 49, 50, 50, 45, 49. 
50 minus 53 plus 50 minus 45 plus 50 minus 49 plus 50 minus 50 right 50 minus 53 This is 50, 45 minus 53, 49 minus 53, 45 minus 53, 49 minus 53, 50 minus 53 plus similarly what will happen? Plus 5 that I have taken here and uh, this will be 4 that I have taken 53, 53 again, 48, 58, 60. 860 and uh, that will be 53 minus 53 58 minus 53 60 minus 53 and uh, 57 minus 53 plus 55 minus 53 plus 55 minus 53 and two zeros are already there 55 minus 53 right now and uh, divided by 10 two zeros are already there so what will happen in that case this will be 3 because it will be minus 3 but absolute value is 3 and here 5 3 8 is left there 4 is left this is 3 again left that will be 0 two zeros are there already and 58 minus 3 is 5 and 60 minus 53 is 7 and 57 minus 53 is 4 and 55 minus 53 is 2 4 divided by 10 so that is 3 plus 8 11 plus 4 15 plus 3 18 plus 5 23 plus 7 30 plus 4 34 plus 36 divided by 10 that is 3.6 so mean deviation for Rahul is 3.6 whereas mean deviation for Sarvag is to be calculated and mean deviation for Sarvag mean deviation for Sehwag of Sehwag Sehwag can be calculated like mean deviation H what is that now and whole divided by 10 so this is what all this divided by 10 so it will be like uh, 31 minus 53 is 2 and 22 plus this is a 40 minus 3 37 plus this is a 53 right plus 64 minus 53 is 11 plus 42 minus 53 is 11 also again 11 plus here uh, 80 minus 53 is 27 plus 31 minus 53 is 2 and 22 plus here 53 minus 4 is 49 plus this is 3 and 11 minus 5 is 6 plus here 1 and 9 12 minus 3 is 9 let me write 9 this is 2019 right now so all divided by 10. In that case, what will happen? See 2 plus 7, 9, 9, 3, 12, 1, 13, 14, and 7, 21, 23, and 32, 35, and 9, 44, carry 4, and 1, 5, and 6, 5, 6, 11, plus 4, 15, 17, 19, 120, 21, plus 25, 26, plus 3, 29, to 31, divided by 10, that is 31.4. So, clearly, here, deviation of for Sarvag is more than the deviation of, clearly, deviation, in deviation of Sarvag, clearly, deviation, 
in performance of survival, performance of a score of survival, 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 performance in a score of survival is. <coughs> age 31.4 more than Rahul that is 3 point something 3 point something 6 right now 3 point 6 so this is uh, how we can calculate the performance so dispersion age scattering scattered data is scattered performance of survival age volatile scattered or uh, dispersions basically deal with all these situations so i hope you understood this this is the basic one uh, you try to understand them and uh, we will discuss some more questions after the break till then bye bye thank you god bless and uh, keep watching this channel right and subscribe this too thank you